This time we are going to create this endurance aura from Warcraft 3. It's a circle of uh, these orange things, cone looking, and uh, it's animated. It's like circling around with the bigger parts, where and then getting smaller while the circle gone. Okay, so this is uh, the texture, not the whole thing. We just need to move it around, to move the particle emitter around the hero, around the center. So, as usual, we creating... Where is it? We creating StarCraft particle emitter. Let's put it to the center, but a bit aside. For example, here. One unit away. Maybe not one unit. Not that far, like, oh, like this. Now we need to create a ball. Usually we create any animations with the balls, because they are supposed to be animated. Not the meshes, not the object, but the bones. They control everything. We put it to the center, reset all rotations, and now we link the emitter to the bone, like this. So when we rotate the bone, the emitter is rotating too. And now let's create the animation. It will be stand animation. And its length will be 1 second, 30 frames. So. As usual, we press A to toggle, angle snap toggle, yeah. So now we need to create the rotating animation. We need to set the first frame by having set key pressed and pressing the key. So the frame has appeared, the key has appeared. Now we need to rotate this ball by 120 degrees we can now press the key it will create the key but we could also just go to auto key mode and it will be created autom automatically now we need to copy the key to the next frame here make another rotation to the same angle now copy it here and uh, complete complete the rotation to the initial position of the last frame okay so we can see it is now rotating note that we had this curve editor on the line so every rotation frame is the same equals to the other frames okay now we need to to create the material to this little particle meter. Let's see. As usual, standard material, mask mode, and blend mode. So let's define the alpha mask. I don't have the texture from Warcraft 3, but there are some, night, some nice texture from the Starcraft 2. This green stuff. All right, let's use uh, the green channel as the mask. And let's define the emissive layer, the color instead of bitmap. Something uh, that has the color of that thing. Of that spell from Warcraft 3, like this, something brown red. Okay. Don't forget for particles to remove hit test, receive shadows and cast shadows. Also we can make it unlit because we don't need the light to affect the particles look. Alright. Now let's apply the material to the particle. And the last part to configure the particle itself. First, we need to change the instance type, 
right? Instance type. How will it uh, operate? Will the, will the particle appear in the world? Where will it look? Default type is billboard, where it's always looking in the camera. But we need something different. We, we are rotating the emitter, and we need emitter-oriented particles. Also, we don't need any speed. It should stay where it appears. Note that there is a world space checkbox. It should be checked. So the particles don't follow their, par their particle emitter. They should stay rela relatively to the world. Also, let's change the emission rate to something like 16 and lifetime to 1.2 I think this should work because our whole animation is one second all right we do remember that the initial effect that we are recreating has a special behavior the particles appear small then they rapidly get big and they slowly get him back to the small state. Let's do this to our emitter. Its starting size is about, for example, 3. Its middle size, for example, 20. And the end size is also 3. But the middle time should be early 0.1. Okay. Probably everything is all right already. Let's check how it look. Okay. This doesn't look perfect because somehow alpha mask didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because we picked alpha layer instead of green. It was my mistake. We had to use the green layer, you see, green has this part. Alpha layer is just white, so when we're using the green one, it will look as we want it. Yeah, nice. Let's see. Not too bright, right? It could be brighter. Let's make it brighter. We are using emissive layer for the color, so let's increase the emission. The emissive multiplier to 5. Let's see again. Yeah, pretty bright. Maybe too bright. Let's... Let's... Where is it? Let's reduce it to 3. Okay. Now we need to change its position, its rotation. Because... You see, it looks like outside by its smaller part while it should look inside there is angle parameter let's change it to let's rotate it by pi okay that's better but they are a bit too small let's increase them back to the particle emitter parameters let it be 40 yeah let's preview again yeah now it looks like something like the something like this not perfectly i don't have the correct texture but the idea is clear is clean, I hope. 